Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. The topic of today's class is Overview of Casting Technology, the casting processes. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Casting is usually performed in a foundry by foundrymen. A foundry is a factory equipped for making molds, melting and handling molten metal, performing the casting process, and cleaning the finished casting. Foundrymen are those workers who perform casting. Discussion of casting begins with molds. A mold contains a cavity whose geometry determines the shape of the cast part. The actual size and shape of cavity must be slightly oversized to allow for shrinkage that occurs in the metal during solidification and cooling. Amount of shrinkage depends on metal type, so design must be made for the particular metal being cast. Molds are made of a variety of materials, including sand, plaster, ceramic, and metal. There are two types of molds. Open mold, in which the liquid metal is simply poured until it fills the open cavity. And, closed mold, in which a passageway, called the gating system, is provided to permit the molten metal to flow from outside the mold into the cavity. In this figure we can see an open mold, and a closed mold. This open mold consists of only one part, made up of the flask, and the mold, and the open cavity where metal can be poured simply without any gating system. So, liquid metal is simply poured until it fills the open cavity. On the other hand, in this closed mold we can see there are two parts, the upper part of the mold is the coke part, and the bottom part of the mold is the drag part. This parting line separates the two parts. As we saw in the open cavity, that metal can be poured simply without any gating system. But here in closed mold, molten metal is poured into the pouring cup, which moves through the runner after down sprue, and through the gating system finally reaches the core or the cavity. There is also a riser, made into the mold to indicate whether the cavity is filled or not. This closed mold has two parts, but for casting more complex shapes, an extra part may be added in between the drag part and the coke part. Then the part in the middle is called the chick part. There are two broad categories of casting. Expendable mold casting processes, in which an expendable mold is used and must be destroyed to remove casting. These molds are made out of sand, plaster, whose form is maintained by using binders. Ability to produce complex geometries is an advantage of the expandable mold casting. And, permanent mold casting processes, in which a permanent mold can be used over and over again. It is made of metal, or, less commonly, a ceramic refractory material. The mold is composed of two sections that can be separated from each other to remove the casting. Example is die casting. Some permanent mold casting processes have certain economic advantages. So, we had a detailed overview of casting technology, the casting processes. Thank you.